already Louise Plant here with my 144 topics and my topic for this talk is about validation. So I've written a blog about it, you can check it out on my louiseplant.com.au forward slash blog page called Why Validate and in there I've discussed you know what is not validation and what is validation. Um, so I thought I'd just relay a little story of, of expanding on this thing of what validation is and as I talk I'm going to explain about it more and more is the fact that um, I've, I've been building retaining walls out the back there and as I'm working and I'm putting these things together and you know I, um, there's a gap of like three mil at one end and you know whatever and then I'm really aware of the the feelings and the thoughts that are going through my own mind and and then I was actually starting to think oh what, you know why am I being critical about my work and what's going on and of course <laughs> the validation came up so I was just really going to share that story and then with the crit my self critique um, of my work the the underlying thing was basically like just not feeling good enough with what I'm doing so I sat there and I thought you know uh, it's really important to validate that so Validation is important for us and it's important for other people. So what is validation? So validation really is, is about acknowledging. It's about acknowledging what we're feeling. It's about acknowledging what we're believing. And I've said this many times to other people. I don't know if I said it on these videos, but you know, we have two ears and we have one mouth. So, you know, we, it's nice for us to actually learn to listen. And there's a difference between hearing someone and listening to someone, but when we actually are starting to he listen, to what people are saying, that's when we can actually start having this feeling of validation. So more examples that I can think of, you know, kids are going, mum, 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 and mum's going, yeah, yeah, what, 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 and the kids are still not getting that sense of validation if you're not actually being present with them and giving them that quality time. And I've spoken about presence, and presence is so, so important. I believe it's so important because you know, we can acknowledge somebody, but it can be very different to actually acknowledging somebody because once we actually acknowledge them, when we validate them, we then are actually quite present with them, we're listening to them. So, you know, we all want consistent validation. We all want to be heard, we all want to be acknowledged, we all want to be understood. Um, you know, if you read Steve Covey, he talks about some of these, you know, uh, practices that are very vital for us you know like we want validation we want acknowledgement we want to be understood that's really important to us so you know when the child's going mum 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 and you might be giving the child what they want you might be giving them food you might be giving them the TV or the iPad or whatever it is that you want to be doing though they won't often feel that sense of validation until they're actually acknowledged and validated and heard and for that to happen there really needs to be a presence you know like an eye contact yes what is it <laughs> that i can help you with you know so there's actually that connection going on and you if you've listened to some of my other stuff you'll know that connection is one of my key words here that's very important so, you know, we all want to be validated and we all want to, to be heard. So we know what it's like, you know, say you go to a shop or somewhere. So, you know, the, the, the checkout chick sitting there on a phone texting a friend or scrolling through social media, or, excuse me, or Instagram or whatever it is. You know, that is not validation and we don't like it. We don't like that distracted connection. So, you know, in relationships, in families, in, you know, our children, our partners, like we, it's really important that we have that consistent connection and that presence and that validation is really important. So, you know, you could be sitting there having a chat with your hubby and he's sitting there watching the TV or watching the footy or whatever it is and he might want to talk to you in the breaks or the ads or whatever it is, you know, you don't feel heard, like we don't feel validated. Um, other times people can talk over us, um, other times we can be sharing things with other people that can actually make other people feel a little bit uncomfortable because they're not used to, you know, experiencing that or, or you know, seeing that. And they can, then in turn could not validate us because A, it's something they don't understand or B, it's actually making them feel uncomfortable. So um, I do work with couples, um, I'm a counsellor as well as a complementary therapist and you know it's quite good to actually get couples to 
take turns to actually validate each other and I've mentioned this with other talks that we've talked about you know how can we do that we can say to the other person you know okay we know what's happening for you uh, you know blah 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 what's going on I'm like, oh I'm understanding that you're quite frustrated is, you know is that right I, I you know are you frustrated can you, you're feeling frustrated would you like to tell me more about that frustration is there anything that you need you know th this is really focusing your attention on the other person and there can be times when that can actually be quite hard because you might be triggered or you might be tired or you might be overworked or whatever it is you know you might not be on top form and for you to actually sit there and to validate someone else could be quite quite hard so there can be a case of sometimes having to take it in turns and say okay uh, you know, and, and to me, that's what really relationships are about. You know, sometimes you're you're in the driving wheel. Sometimes the you know, partners in the driving wheel. Sometimes you're in there together. But you know, it, it's supporting each other through that process. And you can very much tell when someone wants, you know, if they're upset or if they're not happy about something, then they they could um, want some validation. So w why is it important? So the belief that I have is that we can't change anything or move away from anything until we've actually acknowledged it. So, you know, you've heard the people saying, you know, you can stand up and say, you know, I'm a drug addict or I'm an alcoholic, you know, until you can actually acknowledge what, where you're at and what's going on, you can't actually move from that. So my example about me feeling not good enough before, you know, it's going to be important for me to, to acknowledge that feeling within myself because... If I want to change that feeling within myself, then um, I have to acknowledge it first. I have to acknowledge that it's there. You know, I don't need to look at it. I don't need to analyze it. I don't need to look at where it comes from, but it's very important to acknowledge it and then to release it and to let it go. Happy to share other, you know, ways to actually help you do that. So, you know, once we can acknowledge something and we can validate something, then we can release it and we can change it. And the benefits of that is, and the easiest way for me to describe this is, it's almost like you have a sense of being very clear. Um, you feel clear inside, you don't feel so clogged, you feel the flow of life, you feel less reactive to other people's stuff, you know, and this, this to me is, is that feeling of, of having inner clarity. You're also aware of, you know, your passions, your desires, you know where you're going, you've got direction, you've got focus. So all that stuff is, is, is part of this sort of process, but the first step is always validation. Um, and it's almost like owning it, you know, I am, I am feeling not good enough, you know, and actually acknowledging that, yeah, this is what's happening. Because if we don't validate and you're going, oh, I don't want to go there, don't want to go there, don't want to look at it, I'll go and pour myself a glass of wine or I'll go and distract myself with something else. We're never actually acknowledging that and processing that. And I've spoken about this before in other videos, you know, I believe that, you know, our body is symbolic of on all levels. So physically we eat food, we absorb it, we digest it, and then we basically shit it out. And it needs to be the same with thought, you know, mental processes and also the same with emotional processes as well so you know acknowledge that feeling of not feeling good enough you know what does that feel like you know just acknowledge it be with it don't have to do anything with it <laughs> and then just basically let it go just say all right I can acknowledge it's there and I'm ready to release that now but you know if we don't acknowledge it and validate it first then the we're not really releasing it because we're not actually grasping it and getting it in our hot little hands so if we aren't validating ourselves and if we aren't validating other people um, then we're not probably moving forward we're not processing and cleaning up our vibration you know um, we're not you know we can end up feeling you know well what's the use we can end up feeling well no one cares about me like like if you know if we're not validating our partners then you know we can feel no one cares no one i'm not important they don't like me, they're not there for me, they're not supporting me, like all that sort of process can end up happening depending on what, you know, your underlying story that you tell yourself is. So, you know, if we're not validating ourselves and if we're not actually learning to validate other people, then, you know, the pain that can be associated with that is really just feeling lack of self-worth and lack of value. So... <sighs> 
you know, we, we tend to want to like to, to talk about ourselves. We tend to want to share, you know, what's happening for us when, you know, we're talking in a conversation, like we want to jump in and, and share our little bit and share our little bit. And part of that is because of the desire that we have to validate ourselves. So when we start to learn to validate ourselves internally, um, we, we tend to find the less of a need to do that. So I tend to believe the clearer you become and the more you clean up your vibration, the less desire you have to jump in there um, and, you know, lead the conversation or share your part. You know, we tend to be more prone to actually just starting to listen and to observe. Um, and I think one of the best gifts that you can ever give someone is that, that sense of validation is to actually sit there, connect with them and say, okay, tell me more. And to do that in a space where you're not reactive and, and you're just there. You're there, you're present, you're listening with your two ears, you've got your one mouth shut, and you're actually listening to what's going on. So if we don't start to validate ourselves, what can happen is we can have reoccurring themes, we can have reoccurring feelings, we can have reoccurring beliefs going coming over and over and over again. And of course, as I say many times, if we don't let it out, we act it out. So if we're not releasing and acknowledging and validating what we're feeling and we're not letting it go, we start to then activate that. We become reactive. We, you know, we triggered, we, we act out. That, so in my case, you know, feeling not good enough, I could then act that out. I could fall into a victim state or I could fall into a, a woe is me state. You know, there, there could be lots of ways we can act that out. Maybe that could be another topic, acting things out. So, you know, learn to validate people. So, you know, confirm what they're saying. Repeat, not repeat word for word, but say, you know, what you're telling me is, is you know, have I got that correctly? Is there more you want to say about that? Do you want to share anything else about that? Ah, oh, I can acknowledge and see that you are feeling that way. And when you do that, you'll find that people can just go, ah, oh, because they're being validated, they're being heard, they're being acknowledged. It's very simple and very easy to do. So, you know, for this video, probably what I would encourage you to do is to be mindful of, you know, of your valid validation of yourself and of other people. You know, when you're in a situation, do you want to jump in and have a conversation, you know? Maybe you do the opposite. Maybe you just sit there and don't engage at all, which could be, just, you know, neglect can be just as damaging as, um, you know, not, not acknowledging other people as well. So just know that it is important that we're, we're all heard, it's important that we're acknowledged, and it's important that we're all validated. And if you've got partners, you know, the, the, the trick, I believe, is, is consistent, consistent connection. Um, basically looking at con not small periods of present validating connection, excuse me. Um, is, is the key. So, you know, it doesn't have to be like hours and hours. It can just be, you know, 10 minutes here, five minutes there, three minutes there, you know, but it's that, that consistent touching in and connecting with people. And of course, if people aren't in a very good space, they want might want some validation as well for a longer period of time. But don't forget yourself, you know, it's really important for you to you know, validate yourself and say, okay, well, I, I need time for me, or maybe I need to put myself first, maybe I need to do some self-care practices. Oh, excuse me, releasing energy and letting go. So, so yeah, just be mindful about validation. Maybe try validating yourself, maybe try validating other people, maybe try validating your, your friends, your partners, and just actually see how people respond differently to that. Because it's very easy to do that in a situation where you just are communicating, validating and acknowledging, and it can stop things basically festering. It can th stop things escalating. You know, I had a situation this week where, you know, I was just feeling not right about something. And in the past, I would just sort of shut up. But, you know, I thought, no, you know what, I'm, I'm I probably need to just talk about this or process this or, or whatever it is that, you know, you need to do to make yourself feel better. And, you know, the next day in hindsight, I was like, you know, that was actually a really good thing that I did because in the past I could have, you know, something could have played out for days and days and days or weeks or whatever it is, you know. 
Whereas it, you know, in, in 15 minutes it was, it was, it was sorted. And I allowed myself to be open and I allowed myself to, uh, to acknowledge what I was feeling and to share that openly. Um, and of course, once I acknowledged it, once I validated it, it, it just moved, it changed. So validation is the topic this week. So go forth and validate yourself and others. And remember, two ears, one mouth. So maybe less of this and more of this and just see just observe just observe you know how people respond open up relax change shift you know once we start validating them and seeing what what's happening so yeah connecting presence connection is the key and okay so thanks for that if you want any uh support or help in any of this by all means let me know happy to help you in any shape or form um, got some really good strategies, templates, practices, yeah, yeah, I'm happy to share. Um, otherwise, I'm always seeing you in happiness and health and you take care of yourself and I'll see you next week. Bye.